but I'll never, I will never trigger somebody just because I want to finish early. <laughs> They'll get you over the IP. Imagine John IP. Oh, right then, ladies and gents, boys and girls. So, right, how did we get on this weekend? So, it didn't start really well, because on the Thursday, we were supposed to be playing South Loughton. That doesn't mean anything to anyone. It's a club in Essex <laughs> by a river called Roding. Anyway, a, a video was sent by WhatsApp, which is nowadays the, the usual thing, because we have to prove when the ground's, ground's not good. Yeah. Um, so, they sent us a video um, saying that the, the, the ground's not going to be good, but the game was on Sunday. And they sent us the video on, on Thursday. So that was cancelled. So that was a game that we were supposed to play on a grass wicket. So I got myself on the Saturday team, which were playing Chumpshire. Um, they've got a channel, haven't they, on TikTok. A nice bunch of lads. Northerners, Yorkshire. Um, from your end, from your neck. Well, they sounded like they were from Yorkshire. If you're not Yorkshire, Yorkshire I'm sorry, lads. <laughs> no, they'll be, they'll be decent. They'll be solid. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Strong blokes. Strong England is a strong York. No, it's a strong Yorkshire. It's a strong England. I think the less of about. Yorkshire's performance, the better at the moment. <laughs> yeah. Nothing yeah. strong about Yorkshire at the minute. But anyway. I mean, anyway. Um, so, so, yeah, we, so I got a game. So I got the call on Friday night. Someone dropped out. Yes. And uh, I got in on the Saturday. And, uh, yeah, we played. I batted three. Um, scored some runs. A uh, bit, of, bit of controversy. Second ball. Um where uh, they all went up and it hit my shirt or it hit my glove, <laughs> according to them. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, you'll see it on the video. Um, yeah, scored some runs. Um, I had a hundred partnership, so there's a video coming oh, for nice. that. Nice. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Someone has to score runs in, in the, game game. This weekend. <laughs> the problem. The, the problem is, it's on an artificial because oh, um, right, there's yeah. no. I mean, it's really hard for us um, to get a game. Uh, last minute on grass so yeah. you know especially with the weather it is at least we're getting mm -hmm. a game because the games are getting called off like three four days before like, like i said so yeah so we played artificial but still got some runs um yeah and um a nice um, lady played her uh, first ball she bowled um uh, and he dropped it that was uh, <laughs> classic yeah. stuff absolutely I think, classic i think stuff. i've seen the yeah i've just it's seen brilliant. that one absolutely brilliant i was i couldn't believe it i was just like She's put it on the wicket. She's put a decent ball in. It's turned a bit. It's done a little bit. Like she had this, like a little bit. So it does a bit. So she put it on the wicket. It does a bit. He went out there, hit, tried to hit it. And the big lad who caught me out, by the way, uh, <laughs> took a blinder to catch me out, dropped the, dropped, dropped the dolly. Uh -huh. um, but yeah, um, unfortunate. But hopefully that'll give me some views. There we go. 20 million <laughs> views, was it? 20 million <laughs> I was umpiring when I live. I know you <laughs> Mate, it was, I, I really enjoy umpiring live, honestly. Because um, yeah. you just say what you want, do what you want, and whatever comes out of your mouth happens. And um, <laughs> like, it was like, up to, I think it was about 300 people all together at the same time watching it. On a Saturday afternoon, yeah. I, was, I thought that was mm -hmm. brilliant because everyone's normally playing cricket. Normally on a Sunday, they go quite well. But on Saturday afternoon, I was thinking maybe 20, 30 people. But yeah, six thousand people together. You can cut all this out, by the way. Get the figures in. Yeah, yeah I, I, we've, no, we've no, got to get those six thousand people watching this. Mate, <laughs> I love it. Mate, honestly, the live was crazy. Um, the rabbit was on it, and um, he ran with my mate Z. Um, I've done a few videos with him. Only started his tenth game, and. Um, Big fast bowler, six foot four. Six, well, six, he's a big lad anyway. Yeah, you won't mess with him. And he's bagged it in short at him twice on an artificial, right? <laughs> Jesus, a rabbit, yeah. Bang, bang. And then the third ball is giving him one beautiful length, top of off. My man's got on his front foot and driven it back. I was so proud. <laughs> I was so proud. Honestly, I was just so proud. I was just like, wow. And then I was trying to get him out after that because he was running too slowly. So I was trying to give him out. But... <laughs> and, he, and then he walked off. He, he edged it, walked. Yeah. And then because I didn't put my finger up, he walked back. And I'm oh, like, <laughs> <God, no. laughs> that video has to come, honestly. He walked back and I was like, did you edge it or not? And he's going, uh, uh. And I goes, no, you're out. I've known you for 50 years. I know when you're lying. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he could have you that. I thought he could pull the ball over your eyes. No, nah, mate, not him. No, 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 no. 
Not that's, what I say. that's what you never walk. Never walk. Never walk. Do you know yeah, what? The thing is, mate, you, you, <laughs> you know what I mean? I was this really nice, you know, person who always used to walk. Now I'm listening to you, Aiden. I'm like, I'm not going to walk no, anymore. No, no. <laughs> the influence. Yeah. You've, you've influenced me yeah. not to walk. It's, you know it's I mean? your, your Saturday. Don't give it away, lads. <laughs> you got me out there. I'm bad enough. I need a school to run. So. <laughs> always walk if you register it. <sighs> Right, unless, you've absolutely, yeah. unless you've done a Stuart Broadway middle bit to slip, then yes. fair enough. Smack the cover off it and just yeah. stand yeah. there. No, so give us, give us play an easy job, please. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> speak, speak of players, how did you get on, John? Um, so, I've, I've been away, obviously been on all day, so someone might have seen a bit on, on socials. Um, but uh, I came back and I umpired yesterday. Um, it's, at the oh. moment, every every game I've umpired it's been on as you can imagine because it's our league it's all grass wickets there's no there's no artificial that's the league that all every team has got to have a grass wicket yeah so yeah yeah you can You're imagine uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying that's just what the way the league does it what? I don't mind playing I've got no, no right, issue it's, playing it artificial. is the right way it is the yeah. right way but I've got no but, issue playing artificial and it's all right where but, you are at anyway you've got loads of grass and you know we haven't yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's um so no none of the none of the the clubs have really had proper time to prepare wickets mm. and pitches and and all that so it was a slow low fairly damp pitch i didn't actually take a video of it because i don't like to sort of highlight clubs with that because it's it's not it's not fair on anybody at the moment because mm-hmm. it's just horrendous trying to prepare a, a pitch especially village grounds as well because this was a proper village ground um and yeah it was a it was a hun uh team back first uh barts and they got 108 all out um and then uh reesview whose ground it is they got bowled out for 34. oh no <laughs> so to be fair they probably oh, hey, hey, you should have started Please. off with 34. <laughs> 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 Re, to be fair Reesby should have bowled out Barton for probably about 50 or 60 and it would have made it a bit more of a cause 100 was always going to be far too much on that wicket um, but uh, yeah I gave a few LBWs um, <laughs> as you like to do no they were all any, anything I give is 100% out yeah <laughs> of course it is mate <laughs> no, I'm, 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 I'm just yeah of course it is yeah so um, it was just a, it, it was a it was an interesting game in the fact that it was always going to be slow, low, and difficult to 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 play on for anybody. I wouldn't. I'd have loved it as a bowler. I'd have loved it as a bowler because mm-hmm. my bowling's like loopy, slow mm-hmm. spin, and it just nobody get hold of it. It just die on the pitch, and yeah, I'd get wicket after wicket. I'm sure I would have done. So yeah, it was. Yeah, um, where there's no balls there. Bouncing twice, that's to me. Well, it might have done, yeah. Well, I had to give... the pitch and just P-rolls, and then it's like, no yeah, balls. Yeah, there were some that were close, and I actually had to, on a different one, not, not P-rolls, but I had to, the first time I've done it, I had to take somebody off for two oh. dangerous no balls. Oh, above were they... start, so. He was, was in that... his last over, but, yeah, I had to take him off, so. Was, was that the team that scored 34? No, nah. was... yeah, well, it was the yeah, it was Reeves for you. They they bowled first. Um, they uh, it was one of their their opening bowler. He okay. came back for a spell. And so they bowled it, beamers. It right last over. So they bowled beamers at at the team that scored thirty four. <laughs> no, 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 the team no, that no, scored no, thirty four. No, the the team that scored thirty four. We're bowling beamers. No, 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 yeah, it was a team who scored thirty four. Would he bowled? A couple of waste time. He didn't do it on purpose. There's no malice in it, but it was just they were right in a dangerous area, so you have to. Is have it? To and he, when, he had no qualms with it. Um, he, yeah, he came off. When when you drag him off, is it? Was, was, it, was, it bowling, was it bowling pace or like? Medium? Yeah, bowling. Yeah, yeah, if it was spin, you, it won't be yeah, dangerous. Yeah. It, but he was bowling. Um, I would. I'd say pace. <laughs> pace is an extreme thing. It was medium. Okay. How many extras yeah, were in? How many extras were in the 34? Oh, I don't know. There wasn't <laughs> many. There was a few wides I gave, um, but there weren't many. Oh, what's, your, what's your what's what's everyone's lowest score that they've p- played in? Because yeah, I've got better than 34. Uh, yeah, I've, bowled, I've been in a, in a game where we bowled a team out for I think it was 20, and then we knocked it off in a, in about four overs, but we still lost a wicket. So <laughs> game was done in. 
about 40 minutes. We're, um, we're the team that always gets bowled out for the scores. <laughs> I think it's, I think the latest one I've seen is about 55. Okay, that's not too bad. Yeah, yeah, it's not, yeah, because gem, generally, because there's a lot of youngsters, um, so there's a lot of people like kids who are like coming in, like just from the youth team, so mm. and they, think, you know, they, you can get rid of you know, they're good, but they sometimes they're playing against like proper seasoned bowlers who've been doing this for 40 years, and it's like mm. the first time, so I think you can, they can generally do generally go quite quickly. Uh, but there's always like a couple of like the older guys in there who've been playing for long, and they they'll normally knock it about a bit and get us up to that point before the likes of me comes in and then just gives it up to end the innings. I mean that's standard sort of you know the like the the, the oh, there's no nice way of saying it, but it is the the, the lowest team in the in the in the, in the club. That's yeah, how yeah. you do it, and it's older people, younger people. Yeah, people yeah. Start. Exactly. You've got a couple of people in there that will make you know can hold an innings together or know what they're doing and bring it, which is. The beauty of playing British cricket, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, that I mean, is that is the, the the loveliness of it. And I'm not knocking uh, no, no, scoring it's... 34. I really, no. I'm not. I mean, I'm, I've I've been I've, I, at school. I think the lowest, and I should have given up cricket then, was five all out. <laughs> oh, I, no. I, I scored one of those though, so I think that's why I carried on my cricketing dream. Yeah, Twenty percent uh, runs. Yeah, sure. that's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's it, mate. Stats, you know. <laughs> Stat padded, yeah. yeah. Well, I think our lowest score for Pacific, which I was involved in, was 42. Um, that was our lowest score as a, you know, an adult club. No excuses, no kids, no, no, <laughs> no old people. We're not very old people. Just 11 blokes scored 42 runs. <laughs> so you just can't hide from it, can you? Just go. <laughs> you just get in the car and go home, man. Yeah. Happens, doesn't it? I mean, Rattlestown got bowled out to like 59 the other day. Going back to the IPL, sorry, boys. Oh, yeah, I, saw that. I, did see, I did see that. I saw that. I thought that was, um, yeah. Don't, we've been there. Lucky yeah. now. Lucky now. Yeah. Not again. <laughs> anyway. You've learned your lesson. You, that, that's, your, that's your IPL team now. It's not. No, it's got to be. It should be. It really yeah. should be. Yeah. Then, yeah. I could, mate, if they hear about it, they're definitely going to send you some stuff. <laughs> 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 They'll get you over the IPL. Imagine John IPL. Oh, I'd love to see yes. John standing in the yes. IPL game. Yeah, he's got the KTM cap on. Please. Please. I love it. I love it. It's brilliant. Oh, that. To be fair, that's the only thing I'd be interested in. Then is getting an umpire in your gig. <laughs> come on, IPL. Someone from there. Listen. Yeah, come on. He's I, think, I, think we have to, I think we have to start. We have to work up to that. I'd like to see John in the. Uh, you know that European cricket league. Oh, oh yeah, that's a good idea, isn't it? You would yeah. get in that, and you'd be the star of the show. I reckon we'll mic you up, <laughs> and we'll get you know, like you know, the comms when they go on the pitch. Yeah, yeah. It'll be yeah. umpire comms, and you'll be like just chatting through, like that. Yeah. Mm. That would be, yeah. Well, uh, yeah, European yeah, Cricket Network. The, the... Yeah. Come on, sign what? me up. Uh, Ian, I'm coming back on field to you. Uh, stay with your original decision. Not out. So, John, a young man, plenty of runs and wickets left in you. <laughs> why, why on earth would you give it all up to be on fire? Well, this is the thing. I've not fully given it up. Um, I, I saw an opportunity um, when... For years, I've been saying I wanted to do umpiring. For years, the courses have always been Saturdays. I work Saturdays. It's never going to be happening. So, they last year, they decided uh, the ACO, Lincolnshire, that I'm now obviously part of, um, they decided to do the umpire course on a Sunday. So, I jumped at the chance. Um, it was always going to be at the point now, well, it was last year, I was 36. I'm 37 now. I want to be at a point where I can still contribute to cricket when I decide to, to, to give up. I also want to get a few years' experience, even if it's only a few games. I split my time between playing and umpiring, um, and I wanted to give something back to to the game once I decide to, to stop, because I don't want to just stop and then not be part of it. Um, yes. And I think that's what a lot of people think maybe should consider. Not all the, You don't have to do high level stuff or anything like that. I still want to progress, I want to do a lot more um, and I want to get to the highest standard I possibly can uh, European Cricket Network then IPL yeah. thank you um, uh, <laughs> just small steps you see, small steps um, no. John Dickie Joke... Temperton <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> joking aside um, I, 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 I see it as a good point to, to still be part of the game um, mm. and 
one thing I was told on my course is I am in the best seat of the house. I have the best view of everything that's going on. Um, and for ones who've done it, I beg to differ. But there you go. Well, <laughs> I, if you're not if you're not able to play much or do that, then I think it's one of the best best seats in the house. I've seen a couple of weeks ago. I saw like literally, the, and I've played a lot of cricket. I've seen the best corn bowled I've ever seen, and I wouldn't have seen that if I was sat on the boundary or not in the middle. Mm. I was in the perfect position. He caught it. The book, lad caught it about that far off the ground. Uh, a caught and bowled, and he, he and he started late with his go to to go and catch it. So yeah, so I think that's that's um, massively important um, get, thing to do as well. Do you get lost in the game? Like do you ever sort of if it's like if it's like a tense run chase or do you ever get like invested in it and either forget how many balls have been bowled or you know. <laughs> Things like that. Drop your pebble. Um, I wouldn't say so. I think sometimes um, for me, uh, it's better when you've got when I've got a colleague because mm. you 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 confer. Not all the time because I mean last year I was umpiring on my own, um, which just shows the lack of umpires because you're not meant to do it on your own for the first year. Yeah. Um, you end up. I end up doing it, but I was confident enough, and I'd done a lot of stuff. And my TikTok is why I started as well. I wanted to show my bit of insight into umpiring um uh, an early early stage of somebody taking it up do you do the thing with the arms you do like two balls like the, the, yeah yeah the, the sorry. Side. yeah 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 don't be like Billy Bowden. Uh, <laughs> just not, not be you. nice and simple. Concise. Laws are meant to be broken, mate. Not laws. Oh, laws, no, no, no. Are, laws aren't. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, the, no, that isn't. No, it's just something that I was told, and I, I try and stick to it at the moment. Over time, I might develop something and, and and do, but at the moment, it's nice and simple, and just do the signals I'm meant to do. So, are you a sort of slow razor? Do you sort of do the whole? Oh no, no. <laughs> oh, <are you> <laughs> no, to be fair to be fair it's I, mine's always i don't know about any uh, obviously some of you guys are obviously doing standing when you've got no umpires but um for me it's a if if somebody's out I'll, i will take a very split second i was to just think about the decision especially mm. lbws you've always got to take that split second Absolutely. re-watch it in your head a little bit and then if i think it's out i'll be a little nod and then i'll so it's a little nod, and then I'm just so, and then I start writing all the information in my book because I've got to like do all that. So, I mean, it's the biggest, biggest. Hate. Well, no, I've got loads of pet hates about cricket, <laughs> but um, one of them that I really can't stand is watching an umpire who literally puts his finger up as soon as it wraps on the pad, and you hear an appeal <laughs> at a certain level, and it's just like the finger goes. Uh, it, uh, yeah, just the, what you've just said there, John, is is you know, golden advice that any friendly, it's, it's key. anybody, anybody is take a couple of seconds. You're absolutely right. It's brilliant. It doesn't advice, even have to be I'm a couple saying. of seconds. It can be literally a second because it doesn't take you long to just rewatch it in your head and then make a decision. Because by the time the, the, the fielders have appealed and they've halfway, the ball is halfway down the, the pitch and you can make your decision. A lot of the time it, it is pretty cut and dry because there's some that you, you can tell that just angling and the angle of the ball and how it's pitched, it's just never going to hit. What's, so. well, that's what's put, because I, I, I always do square leg. I do this thing at square leg, because I feel like that's easy. You, know, you just watch the line, count the balls. You know, it's not hard. But what puts me off doing the actual umpiring, especially if we haven't got an umpire and we're just doing it with teams, is that kind of pressure and knowing that like you're umpiring your own team. And if you yeah. trim one it's potentially tricky and like i always feel like something weird is going to happen you know like there's like obscurities in the laws that you get like like they have a nasty umpire on tms and it's like in my <laughs> look I'd, I'd do one stand and something weird would happen and i'd have no idea what to do yeah it's it, it's all to, to me and one thing i was always sort of told with it is be confident with your decision uh, sell the decision sell the decision be confident with it um, if it comes down to an obscure law or something that you're not 100 percent sure, for me, and we we always got our little blue book. I've I've got it in my bag. I should have brought it. Up. 
No. Should have brought it here, but I've always got my little blue, blue book with all the laws in it, and I'm I'm ready to go. So I've got it. Um, the difficulty is if you're an umpire that's going to umpire across different leagues and different competitions. There's different regulations in each one, so that that's difficult then. But um, it's just it's all about selling the decision to to everybody, not just the players. If you got a crowd there. Um, it's about selling that decision. So stick. To how, uh, how how much uh, are you influenced by players and and the keeper or like the strength of the appeal? Because we've had discussions where it's like, right, boys, if the keeper goes up, everyone goes up to make <laughs> yeah, it sound yeah. you know, <laughs> obvious. I, <laughs> I would like to think. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to think I'm quite good at not being influenced by that, but I'm still a new umpire, so. If I have, I don't think I don't feel like I have done particularly. Um, I'm pretty much I'll go on what I see, um, and I'll happily take the, the, a bit of grief for a, a couple of balls, um, and then they'll crack on with it because it's that's that's cricket for me. It's uh, if I make a mistake, every, we're I've got no technology. This is what I try and you know like when we do all the the outs and not outs on TikTok and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. People comment about umpire's decision and DRS, and I'm thinking. You've not got that. I'm asking you as if you were the umpire, yeah. mm. not as if you've got DRS and technology. I want to know if you've got, if you think that's out or not. How, how, how long do you think? I don't think we're going to be that many years away from having a bit of technology in it with the amount of like, you know, frog box and everyone yeah. filming. In, in that I big don't think we're, yeah, I don't in think we're too far away. All of that. They're, they're yeah, easy yeah. to set up. It's easy to set up, isn't it, as well with frog box? Mm. Yeah. 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 What is it, the, the full track AI? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They've got, they've they've got, got their got premiership. Yeah, yeah. Got, yeah. I was going to go back to Aidan, if you don't mind me asking. Yeah. Um, do you reckon it's a regular thing within clubs that they have a team chat about appealing? Uh, whether it's regular, I think it's just kind of a, a thing you bring up at the start of the season. So, like, I mean, our lads have been playing together, you know, for a couple of years. So we kind of know if the keeper goes up, everyone goes with them. But you yeah. might, if a new lad comes in, just kind of know how we kind of work it. I don't. We're we're pretty like, honest with it. I think. Like, I mean. I mean. We're never, we're never going to harass an umpire. Like there was one at the weekend where John, you're saying you you miss stuff if you're not an umpire. Like I'd obviously got out as having a you know cry in a change room, whatever. <laughs> yeah. And all I heard was a massive appeal go up, and apparently their lads told our umpire to f off basically because he didn't give right. a yeah didn't give an LBW and I think that's that's over a line and basically you can't go and harass and swear at people who are giving no. up their Saturdays. No, no, no. But you know you know you're gonna you're gonna you think it's out if if you're appealing aggressively. So it's kind of a difficult thing. But you never never swear at umpires. Never no, never no. do it. We, so. The reason why a lot of people are uh, umpires are giving it up is due to the abuse. Um mm -hmm. And I, I, I've not experienced much in the league I do because I, I, I've got the benefit of playing against most of these, these guys and these teams over the years. So I know a lot of the players. They know me, which makes it a lot easier. Player management is all. It's, it's a massive <coughs> thing. Being able to manage the actual game is just as important as, like actually officiating it as well of doing the laws and. Uh, and putting all that into it, that's a massive part of it. And that's something that I know I still, when when there's maybe that little bit of pressure um, or that close call, um, my, that's something I still want to work on. It's, I'm, I'm working on a lot of stuff over the, because it's, I, I, like I say, I want to still go higher and higher with it. Mm -hmm. I want to do as much as I can with the umpire and not just the, the TikTok side of it. I want to actually be like a Premier League umpire and maybe potentially <laughs> even further. But until... I get a chance to do other stuff, then that's I. I just want to develop me, me umpire, and it's just like developing me, me, me game as well. Mm -hmm. I get, I've got people like um, uh, PJ Prasanna Drive. He he actually does go in at me quite a bit, and he he pressures me to give a decision. Don't you that's, worry, that's... John. When you come and umpire one of my games, <laughs> I will be pressuring you unbelievably. Right. Right. And, and no, if I'm batting, batting, I mean, and if I'm batting, batting, you give me out I'll be telling you it is not out. 
<laughs> literally, honestly, no, my man. head. I'd be terrible as well with you, John. I'd be. I, I'd literally well, that's what I think. You, there's, there's always going to be certain people who are. Who are I had. I had a, one a few yesterday. They were. They're in me ear quite a bit, and they know. They know my TikTok account. So this is this is the other pressure I've got now as well because of having that little bit of a mm. following on TikTok. People know me that way, and they're going to be. Some are funny with it, and they go. Now then, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. <laughs> <laughs> and I get that. Uh, and yeah, so it's a, some of it's just a little bit of a laugh and a joke. That's and I take yeah, that. that's, that's good it breaks the ice a little yeah. bit as well. So, do, do but, you know yeah. what the key to umpiring for me is? What you said earlier is just is 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 being confident and remaining with your decision. Yeah. Um, players are going to be players. If they see sort of weakness or you're faltering in your decision, they're going to open you up mm. for the rest of the game. There's always going to be it's, you know, it's competitive, especially the higher you get. So yeah. even if you've got it wrong, it's just about you know staying consistent um, and being really clear with your decisions and sticking with it. Yeah. So I, do you know, what I mean? and if you you know, it's the umpires that that kind of waver and stuff. Oof. Sometimes I stand behind the stumps and think they're going to get it the whole game now. Mm. Um, I've just, um, yeah, I've just watched a clip on on TikTok, and I've seen it a few times where there's an umpire who the ball's a batter on the pad, and he goes like this, and then he's like turning his air back, and it's like, and he was half giving it, and then decided against it. It's like that's so not what I ever like. If I ever do that, I might as well just give up. Yeah, it's <laughs> funny though in friendly games when that happens. Honestly, it's hilarious when people do that in friendly games. Like, yeah. uh, <laughs> would any of you consider doing like the course? Would you ever think about doing the course later on down? Yeah, playing. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. In my in my thirties, I'm nearly there. You know, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I just thought get this a couple more eighteen ball ducks, I'll be out. I'll be... A, lot of, a lot of people don't like doing it because, they, like I said, they don't like the pressure. But I'm just curious: would any of you guys want I, to do it and, and I, see it as, I, a, a, as a viable thing to do to keep the that only in the only reason? Well, the only reason why I want to do it, um, and I hate umpiring until I started doing lives. Um, because then it's just funny, um, and I wouldn't, and and yeah, I guess you know, you could take that to a different level with more serious games if I was properly qualified and, and be a bit more professional rather than just trying to have a muck about and take the mickey out of everybody that's playing, um, which seems to work, it's really entertaining. Um, but yeah, I'd 100%, I'm, I'm, I'm close to doing it as long as you know, my eyes, um, keep yeah. going. I think that's, uh, that's definitely a video we've got. You know, like the Bumble, uh, if we go up to serious cricket and do the is this out or whatever. Oh, yeah. A couple wrapped on the pads, that'll be an unbelievable <laughs> video. I Get the full track AI out as well. Yeah. Right? Little partnership. They'll give you that free, won't they, Mutz? <laughs> you know, is the course just a day? Because you said that they, they don't change it to a Sunday. And it, it, so I, I it's, thought it's like a, a period of days. It is a period of days, yeah. But I was over... For, so... To be qualified to do league games, because um, you can do there's level one and there's level two. Mm. There's a, le, there is level three, but to to qualify for for uh, league games, you've got to do level one first, obviously, and then level two. Level one, I believe, you can still do it online, but level two, you've got to do it face to face. I did level one and two face to face, so it was over four Sundays. So level one, there's no actual uh, uh, quiz for it anymore either, so which is brilliant for me because I'm shit with quizzes <laughs> uh, which you lot have got to do later <laughs> how, how, how much was it the course um, I can't honestly remember I think it was I think it was about 30 quid for level 1 and then you got level 2 uh, like half price or better so it's like it's like forty quid for the for the lot. Right. Did did you um, have to pay for it or your club really covered it? Well, this is what I was going to get to. The the my club actually paid for it because they got they get it paid back through their uh, through the ECB Premier League because they want more umpires. So they're yeah, trying to get absolutely. more people to do it, which is brilliant. And I think that's what because obviously more and more people, well, more I want more and more people to do it. That's why I started my account. Yeah. Um, because I want to try and encourage more people to do it. Uh, and how much do you get paid? Uh, depends on the league. So in my league, I do it. It's now it's forty pound if I'm with somebody. Yeah. Uh, sixty pound if I'm on my own. See, we pay as well. We pay <laughs> on a Saturday, and it's um, I think it's sixty quid as well as ten pound an hour or something like that, which is oh, below. Wow. Which is that's below the the what's it called the the, the minimum wage. Yeah. 
mm, when you think yeah. about it. And people don't think about it like that. And no. then when someone put it to me, you're out there for six, seven hours and you're getting 40 quid, it's like seven pounds an hour, isn't it? So yeah. you, do, do, you do it for the love as much as anything else, didn't you? It's still, a, it's still a, an amateur thing. I, mm. It's there to, for me, I've had games which are like, uh, like yesterday, it lasted, uh, what, five, six hours? But then I have other games that last me an hour, if less. I had at least two or three last year that were done in an hour. And, and, like, you, and you'll still get your, your full... I'll still get the same money. So yeah. what, you're, what you're telling us is that you just... 34 hours is getting. what he's said. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, this is the thing. You're, you're repeating yourself. Going, you that? say yeah. that, that game yesterday was still a 60 over... Was it, no, 63 over game in total, because it's 40 oh, overs God. for the first innings, and then 22, 23 for the second innings. So I was still there for 60-odd overs. So are you, are you ever thinking all? in your head like, "Come on, boys, get on with it"? Like, sort of <laughs> it. Like, I'll never, I will never trigger somebody just because I want to finish early. <laughs> I will <laughs> never do that. <laughs> Promise anybody who's listening to this or watching this, I will never, never trigger anybody just for the sake of it. On the on the course, is there like a minimum age people have no. to be? Not See? as far as I know, but. The, they'll even, they obviously even take people who've never played cricket before, but it obviously helps mm. if you know your cricket a little bit or play yeah. for like most of us. I don't know how long everybody else played for, but I'm in like twenty odd years and I know a lot. But then it gives the thing that I've I said ever since I've done my course is open my eyes more to the game. It yeah. opens your eyes more to the laws and the little ego centric things and stuff. Do you think it makes you? Do you think it's made you a better cricketer? Uh, probably, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I, I get to know how umpires think a little bit more. <laughs> yeah. so you can maybe sort of, like you say, influence them a bit. But um, I know last year I gave one of my my decisions when I was bowling. I gave it not out, and I had to give him tell the umpire that because we had no official umpires. I had to tell the bloke who was standing to give it as a no ball because I double bounced it. Mm-hmm. And he went, what? He said, just give it a no ball, mate. It's a no ball. <laughs> Is it going down? It's getting I have got a question, for, another question for you two, all three of you, sorry. Um, Is there any laws that you would change? I know there's been some that have come up recently. LBW. <laughs> Take that out of the game. <laughs> I, I'd get rid of the pitching outside leg. I think in the age of... All the variations and in, in all the shots that the batters are able to play now, I think it. I think it's moot. I think when you got people like Joe Root reverse scooping, I think pitching outside leg just it adds to it being a batter's game. And I think if it's, I get it makes it a little bit harder, and I still think it needs to be in line. But I think pitching outside leg should should go. Yeah, I disagree massively. Why? <laughs> just because yeah. as a batter, I remember this. The, as a batter, yeah, you would. The uh, yeah, obviously. <laughs> this, the, my first preseason game this year, there was this young leggy who was bowling like loopy, you know, slow. Nobody was scoring up, and I think, oh my god, I'm gonna have to go in and face him. Um, he's he's gonna get me out. He's gonna get me out. First ball that he bowled to me was clearly pitching outside leg, so I could literally get down, sweep it, and get away. And then it's just. You were saying like Joe Root plays all these shots. I don't have a reverse sweep in my locker. So I think it's, yeah, trying to measure our level and the pros level, it's different. Mm. Like it's not the same. Like, and it's like stuff like Basball. People aren't playing Basball style really at our level yet. No, it's still at like three, four <laughs> runs and over in like a 45 over game. It's that's the, that's the difference, and I don't think we can have it one kind of set of rules for for pros and like a completely different set for amateurs because you're going to oh, create that divide. Sorry, laws. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. I but but I, th- I, th- I think that's kind of similar to like I think rugby's dropped the tackle height, hasn't it? At like mm-hmm. amateur level. Yeah. And right. they they didn't didn't enjoy that so. I I get, yeah, I see, I, see, I see what you're saying. At like club level, maybe need to stay. But I think in in the professional game, I think I think it would make it it bring the balls into it more. Because 
Well, I mean, then the leg. Have you ever have you ever watched the test match when they're bowling leg side because they're trying yeah. to strain it? It's mm-hmm. killer. It's mm-hmm. dead. It's so dead. So I suppose it will get rid of that part of it, yeah. where where you're just kicking it off in a test match. But it's really difficult when the ball's on leg and how much mm-hmm. it's spinning to judge for an umpire how much it's going to spin from that yeah. side. That's so right. I think that's that's the really difficult part of it. It's still have to hit in line. I think the impact is still have to be in line. But, but with the leggy, the ball. That the, the way it spins, do you know what I mean? It just you never. I, I don't think any technology can tell you how much it's going to spin. It, no, uh, yeah. not not not. Yeah, they. Oh, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All the time, yeah. I, it, it's just a hard one. Can I give you mine? And yeah, I saw yeah. this from Callington Cricket Club. I think I've said that right. Yeah, um, yeah. Prem Club in Cornwall, um, and their keeper. It was on the on a video today. Bowler was rapid. He said he was 90 mile per hour. I don't think he was 90 mile per hour. Was he was playing somewhere else. Yeah. Um, but he was rapid. Um, and the keeper was standing up and leg side and took a stump in. He, the guy wasn't out, but it was such great work. And, and, the, and then the umpire puts a wide up and you're just like, are you kidding me? Come on. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I put a comment on there just saying, you know, brilliance like that or, or mad skills like that should be. Um, rewarded with no wide or whatever but yeah so that would be for me a leg side a leg side wide if the keeper takes it and he's standing up then it's an extra run <laughs> taken off <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Go, yo, beauty. right then ladies and gents boys and girls so we have the quiz for you um, last week, uh, last episode, should I say, I lost miserably on the uh, IPL one. So we've got an umpire-based one. Uh, it's similar sort of principle. So there's, there, I think, it's sixteen-ish answers for you to give. So we'll start with Mutz. We'll go to Aiden. We'll go to uh, to Adam, uh, and then we'll rotate round. So my question is, and you'll, I'll give you thirty seconds to start with. Uh, I want you to list how many different ways a no ball can be given so i'll give you 30 seconds oh, that's that's question. Question. Yeah, how many different ways <laughs> are like that, right? no no yeah. no i don't mean the signal <laughs> the different ways uh, oh, that uh, a no ball can happen from and, and there's 15, 15 ways of doing there's about that, 15 yeah. 16 ways about was 15 or 16 no no you'll you, you <laughs> not get them all so oh, my, my. once you're out you're out aren't you so this is going to go well <laughs> I can tell you that I'm more nervous than I got about that. This is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm so, so, tell me when you are ready and we'll. Uh... Oh, my word. I'm You're right. Really I'm writing it down. Yeah. It's really difficult, isn't it? I, I fall of two and then that's it. There you go. It's not as easy as you think, is it? I think I'm up to three. Okay. And, and what sort of game is this? What format of game? It's it, well, it's it's within the MCC laws. So okay, cool. Okay. That's all I'm going on. It's I wouldn't do it any other way. Uh, you get, I'm, in the, get I'm in the groove now. I've got it. I've got, got it. it. I'm, I'm in, in the groove. groove. I'm up to five. I've got five. I'm okay then. Right, Mutz, I'll let you go first. Uh, above um, shoulder height. In what sense? Um, sorry, above, above head height. What the ball, ball pitching? Yeah, not, not pitching. pitching. Not pitching. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, not pitching, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. That's one. Full Good. Uh, if it pitches off the actual strip, of a yes. risky. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Bowlers, bowlers not get anything behind the line. Ooh. Uh, yes, from which, what? In which one? What front foot? Front foot, yeah, front foot no balls. Yeah, yeah. Back foot, no ball. Oh, oh, yes. That was the second one. I didn't have that one. <laughs> yep. Um, if the bowler knocks the bell off as he's bowling it, uh, yes. Uh, uh, the Finn. Little, little bonus point for you. Who, who was that because of? Finn. Stephen Finn, yes. Did you not know that? I, I did, did not know that. No. Oh, dear. <laughs> um, I'm, 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 I'm right late to cricket compared to you lot. <laughs> is it bam, bouncing twice like P-Rollers bouncing Still twice bounce. yeah before the pop increase yeah yep yeah. yeah, that's one 
Me? Is, is it, it me? me? Oh, yeah. right. So, yeah. the yeah. wicketkeeper um, <sighs> moving where the ball has been, uh, well, well, when a batsman in his stance and the ball's been bowled, so the wicketkeeper's standing in the back and then he comes up to the, to the stumps without telling anybody. Is that no ball? Or a fielder doing it? No. Oh, for real! Oh. It should be! Mertz, you were oh, You were me one, Mertz. I yeah. thought you were going to go with. I thought no, you were going to go with something different. Whoa, 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 whoa. But I'm not going to tell you. Oh, okay, okay, so the wicket keeper oh, yeah. in front of the, 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 the gloves. The, yeah, the yeah, the front. It, yeah. Yeah, but I was, just, I was saving that one. That was a good one. Is that all? Oh, sorry. Is that all we can go now? Well, no, no. I was fresh out on your paper. That was it. Yeah. Oh, okay. well, hang on. We got a, we, we got a DRS for this. Now. DRS indeed. Yeah. I, 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 didn't know it. I didn't know it until months. No, so no like that's different. Though. So, so Mutz, the one you're on about, it's yeah. um, it's actually penalty runs. Which one? Oh, oh the, the, the fielding one. Moving. Yeah. yeah. There we go. We learned yeah. something. We learned something if you listen to this show. So, are we saying taking the ball in front of the stumps is gone now? Yeah. That's yeah. gone. Um, <laughs> So, not, or, yeah, too many fielders inside the ring, if you're playing that. Well, we're not, not, no, we're not basing it on the uh, ring, no. I will give you a little bit of leeway on the fielders one, because there is one that is based on the fielders, if you know it. Oh, oh it's, it's too, too many, many behind square. square. <sighs> yeah. Well. <laughs> so, I can't, I, I, it was going right. on the MCC. It, or, the, there's no the restrictions in that. Side of it. <laughs> that's so, right. That's all right. That's all right. Give, give me. me. That's <laughs> it. <That's laughs> <real. laughs> right. Chucking. Chucking the ball. Throw in. Yeah. Yes. Get in there. Um, what you got, Aiden? Come on. I'm fresh Actually, out. Aiden's missed one, but we'll, we'll just, like, skip over that. But. Oh, this one? Yeah, because you you said the this the boundary the the thirty thirty yard circle, and then Adam jumped in. Carry carry on, carry on. We'll see how many we can get. We'll, we'll mm. go from there. It's always a quiet one, isn't it? Put it in moves. I've I've gone, boys. I'm going to be gone. Yeah, I've yeah. I'm disappointed. Is there more to chuck in? I don't, I don't know if it's a no ball, ball or not. Is it can, under yeah, arm? Are you to ball yeah, under arm, that's one. Is that, that no ball? ball? Yeah, it's a no ball. I'm oh, um, hanging on, on my thread, thread here. here. <laughs> <laughs> one hand, one bounce. No. Sorry? Uh, <laughs> one hand, one bounce. I've written something here, right? My, my, my writing is so bad, I don't know what it says, but I know it's a good one. One of... I don't know. Um, oh, that's what I wrote. wrote. Um, so when there's a fielder that is not in the field of play as the ball is being bowled. No. no. Are you sure? sure? Yeah. Check your rule book. Get the blue book. I've checked all the rules. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no. Don't no. 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 So if they, if they come onto the field of play, that one is if they come onto the field of play and they interfere with the, the ball, like stop it from going over the boundary and then throw it back in, that's penalty runs. And they any runs that are completed runs count extra as well. So if they completed one run and then they picked it up and then threw it back in, that's six in total. I love how we turned into an educational podcast now. Yeah, we're just learning so Do you want me to go? Uh, Adam, have you got any more? I've got. got this is my last one because this, is, this has happened to me because I've also slowly. The ball coming to a stop before it reaches the batter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is one. Yeah. Yeah. I've never seen that in all my years. <laughs> we all just like, bowled it and it bounced and it bounced, it bounced again. Oh, it's taken yeah. a strip as well. Yeah, 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 on the strip, strip like, it, it stopped about two foot, foot from him. And it just looked... Did you then hit that ball? You were allowed, you were allowed to, to hit that ball, though. I thought it, so, but the, everybody just sort of stared at it, and it felt like the longest, like, three <laughs> seconds <laughs> ever. <laughs> and then you were no ball. Most right. people probably won't. Uh, right, should I go through the ones we're missing, then? So it looks like Aiden's got the... I'm doing it again. Yeah, no <laughs> so, um, so this one this one I will give you a bit I should probably but in the laws this one is a no ball so bouncing overhead height so you bounce it and it goes overhead height uh, of course, most, most and I will give you the most change it in the regulations to be out wide mm. but in the laws it is a no ball throw in before delivery so you see there's a, I saw a video as well and it just it showed I can't remember who it was it was a West Indian bowler 
he was running in. And he, he lost his stride and he threw it anyway. Uh, that's that's a no ball. Uh, notifying the umpire of your, not notifying your umpire of your action. So either going right uh, over the wicket, right arm over, right arm round, uh, and of your action. That's a no ball. Uh, field intercepting the delivery. So if the field is too close to the, the, the strip and the intercept the delivery and it still goes on. I thought about one now as yeah. well that I can do it on TikTok. Yeah. About the field <laughs> being still on the pitch. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Was, uh... Uh, uh, the one with about the fielding was no, you can't have more than two behind square leg. Yeah. Which is what I was trying to get at for your 30 yard circle. But well, you... I thought we said it. Oh, yeah. Uh, that, so. <laughs> <That's terrible>. uh, <laughs> and similar to the the ball pitching off the pitch, and it's it sort of inter, intertwines it anyway. Is the batter leaving the the crease to go and play the ball uh, off the pitch? Sorry, uh, if they can leave the pitch, it, that is also a no ball. But it's in in line with the ball pitching off the the cut strip. Uh, and I think that's on all. I think we got. We didn't do too bad. Didn't do not too bad. bad. Yeah. Fair, fair I thought we would. <laughs> I think oh, I've, got I've, got I've got to go. go. Right. Take, Take care, nice ones. See you everybody see you in a couple of weeks' time. Yeah! Oh, Baldin! What an absolute ripper! Right then, so it looks like I'm doing the quiz next week. Um, and just to finish this podcast, we've got a couple of shout outs to do for people who've done really well this week. So we've got Mitch Fish, four for five for Market Dragon Cricket Club. Uh, Mickey Onwin, 51 for the same team. Um, and then we've got Will back on us, six for 36 for Babacombe. And Steve Broad, 75 of 86, also for Babacombe. Boys, you got any shout-outs to do? Um, I've got one. Uh, Keaton Hopeite got his very first wicket. He's normally a wicket-keeper, and he bowled on Sunday and got his very first wicket, so... Little shout out to him. Uh, also, Ollie Caswell got a hundred off fifty nine balls um, on Sunday as well. Um, and well batted. Well batted. My well balls. Uh, next week's episode. What are we thinking? I think the T Twenty Glass starts soon. Yeah, that sounds a good. I feel like a franchise or just a T Twenty kind of podcast might be interesting. Or maybe we'll be, yeah. maybe we try and rewrite the English cricket calendar. <laughs> what, no hundred? No hundred. Smash hundred. Two hundred. That money, that money, money losing tournaments. <laughs> Don't get me started. I feel like me and Mugs are weak. No one likes a hundred in here, do they? Oh, I don't mind it. I don't mind it, but I'm not a huge fan. Scrap it. Well, that's how to finish it. That's how to get rid of the number 11. All right then, ladies and gents, boys and girls, thank you all again for watching um, and listening. Uh, if you're on YouTube, make sure you do like and subscribe. Try and get us over that 100, 100 barrier mark first. That would be great. Um, we'd like to also thank all the people who've sent in their, their figures for the, the honours board. If you if you have achieved anything in the next couple of weeks, make sure you do send it to the uh, to the email address below or tag us on, on Twitter or Facebook and stuff like that with any, any achievements. We'd also like to thank all the people who send in any clips that get put on the, on the TikTok. Um, again, make sure you do go and follow that account as well. And all of our socials uh, will be on the description below to make sure you do follow all of us uh and thank you for for, for being part of the the episode <laughs>